Hey there everyone, I used some tickets to pull for Mastermind Zon. Got him pretty easily, I didn't have to do the step up. So we're going to be trying him against a few of the trials. This is going to be the Kefka trial using a kind of unusual team to try to take advantage of some of Zon's skills. We're going to be using Bart on Golem with Moogle Plushie, that allows him to provoke. He's also going to be full evasion to ignore those physical attacks. And he can do things like imbue and imperil for wind. He can also entrust for Charlotte as needed, etc. He's more of a support. He's not going to be a DPS here. Lena is going to be our healer. She can do things like, you know, buffs, immunities, healing, etc., etc. Just all the good Lena stuff. We're going to use Charlotte for covering the magical attacks, also doing mitigation. And she's going to have um, passive provoke as well. So Bart can do other things and not always passive provoke, or not always provoke. Bart will just provoke on Kefka mostly for those big physical hits and he'll dodge them, whereas Charlotte will do most of the other tanking. Roberta is going to be here for chaining. She's got a wind weapon on, so we don't always have to worry about the imbue because there are some dispels on this fight. Also, she can provide a 200% human killer buff. Usually the buff is only for herself and it only lasts one turn. But we're going to use Zahn to take that buff and spread it around so we get a lot of human killer for free, kind of. Other than that, she's just got some, you know, DPS gear. And here is Mastermind Zahn. He's got a wind weapon on. The friend won't, but mine will. Um, if the friend was geared with a wind weapon, too, that would save us an action. But, you know, whatever. Uh, so we're going to be doing Human Killer with... He's going to be our main DPS. Human Killer, he's going to be chaining. He's also going to be breaking for us. Zahn is um, a pretty good breaker, as it turns out. And we're going to take Tragic Zahn. Uh, he's a little bit less geared, but it's still totally fine. He's got... Um, but he is built properly for it. He's got human killer. He's got a little bit less spirit and hit points, but we'll try to we'll try to make it work. All right, so I'm gonna just skip ahead to the Kefka fight. You've seen me do the statues three times already. Uh, they're not anything special. They die very very easily. They just take a while to do. So we're gonna skip the statues and jump right into the Kefka. So I will see you in a moment. All right, welcome back, guys. We just killed the final statue. Uh, it's only been a few minutes, but you know. There's no point in showing all those. It's a little bit slowish. Or it's not very interesting. Now here's the Kepka fight. We're going to be going in and getting our ambush. Drop us to one hit point. Kind of annoying because it kind of like, you know, restricts what you can do on turn one. But it's whatever. Alright, so we're going to start off with obviously Charlotte is going to use Protector Shield. Uh, the boss is going to break on turn one. So we want to prevent those breaks. So we're going to go ahead and um, stop the breaks and we'll do a heal. Let's see. Okay. Roberta is going to red vengeance to give himself, give herself that uh, human killer buff. We'll go ahead and provoke with Bart so Charlotte doesn't die here. Uh, and now the Zons will just chain. Now we're not going to do good damage yet because we're not like stealing and views or anything yet. Uh, we'll just go ahead and Thief in the Night. We're not trying to do much damage, so we're, we're, not, we're not even triple casting. Just going to save a little bit of mana. I don't want to push that threshold quite yet. I'm not ready for it. Okay, so there's the Havoc Wing on Bars that he evaded, which I mentioned is, you know, part of the reason we're doing it that way. Alright, so now Roberta's going to come down with her jump. And we're not going to cap that yet, because we're still, we're still, like, setting up. So now Roberta has this one turn of 200% human killer, which we're going to steal. We're going to copy, we're not going to steal it, actually. All right, so we'll do immunities and, let's see here, healing. You know, we're not going to bother about immunities right now. I want to do a spirit buff. So we're going to do a spirit buff, and we're going to do healing. All right, Charlotte will give magical mitigation. 
Bart is going to go ahead and imbue himself with wind, and then imperil the boss to wind. It doesn't matter that he's blinded, it still uh, imperils. He's not here for damage. Alright, Zahn. Um, now this Zahn is going to... Let's see here. We'll just Thief in the Night for the break. And other Zahn is going to... Let's see. There's <laughs> so many skills. All right, we're going to reflect here. We're going to steal or copy Bart's in view. We're also going to Critical Mirror to copy Roberta's um, Human Killer buff. And we'll Projected Mirror to spread that around the team. Okay. Here's the Light of Judgment. And then the Havoc Wing on Bart's, but that's fine. Now we're ready to deal some actual damage. Okay, so Roberta is going to Crimson Rage Chain. Mastermind Zahn is going to uh, Bolting Strike twice. Now we're going to push damage. And Friend Zahn is going to Bolting Strike three times. Now you'll notice the whole team has... Um, Three more turns of Human Killer. We've also got the Wind in view, and the boss is in peril to win because of Barks. So this team is kind of kind of set up pretty well. All right. So before I push this threshold, do I want to do anything else? Um, let me think. Not really. Let's go ahead and push this threshold. Alright, so the highest attack power I think is going to be Roberta, because she did her attack buff that we didn't copy yet. Yeah, so Roberta's going to die here. Actually, that means she's going to lose her attack buff. Boo. Oh, well. We'll use Bart to um, start powering himself up so, so we have a buff to steal for later. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go... No, we need mitigation next turn. So Charlotte, this turn, will just refresh her regular mitigation. Lena will do... Let's do a heal next turn. And a re-raise. Uh, no, not caster. Does, she have, does Lena actually have a re-raise she can do through abilities or do I have to use white magic? I guess i got to use white magic with Lena. Okay, that's fine. So what is white magic? Um, let's re-raise Roberta. Let's also re-raise the friend. And let's re-raise the other Zon. Where is all the zones? Because we're going to get the Heartless Angel, so there's no point in healing. And this team's not using barriers, so we can't really prevent that. But the re-race is fine. Alright, let's go ahead and chain again. Let's see, Mystic, uh, I'll just triple Mystic, or bol Bolting Strike this character, and we will triple Bolting Strike on this one. Probably going to push another Threshold here. We might even push him all the way to 50. Let's find out. Oh yeah, we will. Because we have that, uh, we still have that hit, that hit point, or that, that killer buff stolen, which is really nice. All right, so I guess Bart's will spend this turn um, refreshing his imbue and the absolute mirror. No, actually, I want to use Charlotte to refresh her limit here, and I'm gonna use Bart's to give Charlotte that limit back. Yeah, I, li I like that better. Alright, and Lena is going to heal the team for, for these counters. And... We'll do a next turn heal as well. Okay, that works better. Now the boss is just going to power up here. 
Uh, let's see here. How many turns do we have left on that killer buff? One turn? Alright, I think I'm going to... Charlotte's going to guard here. So she doesn't die. Roberta is going to red vengeance to get out of the fight. But before I do that, let me... Do these immunity buffs for Roberta, because she, she, she won't get dispelled. Alright, Roberta will go ahead and jump. Bartz is going to power himself up again to level 3. Alright. And... We don't want to push the boss very hard, really at all. So we'll just... Chain these. It shouldn't, it shouldn't push them below 40. I hope. Oh, jeez. That was close. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Alright, here's the AoE and then the Dispel. The Dispel is really irritating. It kind of messes up our whole, our whole rotation. Alright, now that the Dispel is gone, no more Dispel is in this fight. We can follow our buffs and such back up. Alright, so we need to mitigate. Um let's see. Who has the highest attack on the team right now? Still Roberta? Who has the highest magic? Um <laughs> Barge does actually, jeez. That sucks. So it means Barge is gonna die. Uh, actually, I could push the boss all the way. No. I don't want to do that either. I'm going to next turn heal to Ludric. Uh, yeah, Bars is going to die. This sucks. Alright, so let's go ahead and imperil the boss and break him. Or, and imbue Bars, because the friend needs to get his imbue again. Alright, so the friend will just double up. We will... Let's see. Elemental Mirror on Farts. And we will... Uh... Break. Duh. Alright, and this unit will double up. Let's see. We're going to Critical Mirror on Roberta. And then we're just going to Chain. So it's, it's, it's a little tricky using, using Zahn. It's a little confusing, but we got it. Okay, there we go. So, so we set up this good. We stole Roberta's buff again. Oh, I forgot to do the re-raises. Oh, duh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I forgot to do the re-raises. I can't believe I did that. Uh, it's not a problem. We're going to push the threshold here, but... Whoops. Big whoops. Big whoops. Okay. Uh... Uh, let me see. Does re all right? Let's AOE re-raise. I can't believe I forgot, to, I forgot to do that. Um, all right, whatever. So we'll push the last threshold here. Uh, let's catch me if you can. Bolting, bolting, thief. Let's just triple bolting. Oh, this is so messy. And we will Knight's Command with Charlotte. Alright. Let's push that last threshold. So here's the here the boss is gonna do dancing mad, which might kill some people. In fact, it'll probably kill some people. Let's go ahead and prayer of reincarnation. 
let's uh, let's entrust over to Charlotte. You know, we might not need to do that. Yeah, we might not need it. So let's go ahead and triple bolting. Uh, let's bolting, bolting, and thief. Roberta will crimson raid. The walls have mitigation right now, so we're doing less damage. Alright, yeah, so we don't need to do that with Charlotte. So Bartz will just go ahead and... How's the boss's in peril looking? Two turns. Yeah, Bartz will entrust... Uh, what's her name? Lena. Just in case. Okay, here comes the Dancing Mad. Did I actually do AoE Re-Raise or did I forget? No, I did it. Okay, good. Okay, um, let's see here. So this is one of the dangerous turns. Yeah, the boss has buffs as well. Uh... AoE re-raise again, which also heals the team. I'm realizing we don't have mitigation because Charlotte doesn't have it. Whoops. Alright, let's bolting strike. Let's catch me if you can. Let's um I might not need that. Alright, yeah, let's bolting, bolting, and thief in the night. We will bolting, bolting, bolting. The friend is not imbued, unfortunately. So this will do less damage. Actually. We're going to... No, we're going to do it. Let's do it. I really need to get Charlotte in the burst. Oh, no, I don't. We finished them all. Okay, easy enough. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't quite plan out that final stage very well. I, I didn't... I should have saved Bart's... Mm. I mean, it worked. We got him. It's kind of messy. I, I didn't really really properly. I'm, I'm still getting used to Zahn and the, the trickiness of using him. So that was fun. It worked out. We got him. Uh, yeah, how many turns was that? Ooh, I forgot how many turns was. I didn't even look. Curious. Anyway, I'll upload the video. I will see you guys next time.